Wagwan people, Wagwan tea sippers, Wagwan with Jenna Rose. How are you all doing today? I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling iry. I hope you're looking good because we have another mini pick a card reading for you today. And we are looking into the question Is new love coming to you? Wagwan tea. So, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to Walk One Tarot and Tea. And also have a look on the live tab on the channel for some juicy Summer of Love series pick a card readings that are loosely themed around dating shows, different dating shows. OK, um, so do have a look OK, on the live tab for some more exclusive content. All right. So we have pile one, pile two power free and we're going to look into is new love coming to you okay so focus on the number that's calling you okay while we just bring in some good good energy into these reads thank you universe thank you spirit guys thank you guardian angels thank you ancestors for the messages that we're about to receive today may the messages resonate with the collective so they can use these messages to strengthen their intuition and to use their discernment every time all right let's see wa guan see you on the other side wa guan people wa guan tea sippers wa guan with generals so we have pile one so if you haven't already Please like and subscribe to Wagwan Tara and T. Let us know what you are sipping on on this mini pick a card reading. Is new love coming to you? All right. And do have a look on our live tab section for some exclusive summer of love pick a card readings. Okay. All right. Let's see Wagwan. So is new love coming to you? Let's have a look what's under the oracle oh la la playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so this is yes there's definitely a new energy of love coming to you but the new energy of love wants to come in a way that you are inviting you are allowing it to happen okay so i feel like this is an energy of if you want love to come it will come but it it i feel like it's wanting you to tap into your energy and i feel like this is a strong energy of your inner child really wanting to come out as well okay and to embrace that because if you're if you're tapping into that energy of your inner child it's going to help you to embrace more opportunities of love and unconditional love okay and that's what we 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 celebrate around here unconditional love yeah no time for that conditional love okay so we're going to look into a jamaican proverb let's have a look and see what uh, message is the cards want to tell us so for the collective oh good so we've got i not everything good for eat is good for talk and that everything good for eat is good for talk now i feel like this is a message that is telling us um this message is basically saying everything that you know that you enjoy eating <coughs> excuse me that came from so where did that come from <laughs> but i feel like that sneeze is like saying not everything good for eat good for talk is don't keep things stum keep things stum and what i mean by that don't repeat everything you hear no matter how good it is some tea is better left cold and i feel like this is also you know in terms of any like you i feel like this could be also don't like to be mindful of any self-sabotaging that you may do um or sometimes we can have we can be caught up in habits where where we talk 
about things, but we talk about we don't realize that we're talking about things when it comes to maybe our lo- love life or wanting to manifest in- things into our life. Into our life, we might put a downer on it and say, "Oh yeah, you know, this is what I want to do." But I and then it's like tuning yourself and saying, "Delete, delete, delete." delete 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 what i've just said okay because then that's telling your subconscious and it's also telling the universe it's also helping your spirit guides your guardian angels your ancestors to know okay yeah 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 yeah. jane is not going to be thinking like that so you know whereas something like okay i'm going to embrace playfulness into my life i'm going to embrace playfulness into my love life i'm going to embrace a lighter attitude when it comes to my love life i'm going to embrace this so i can have more opportunities of unconditional love in my life and enjoy being rom the the energy of romance and romance being shown to me okay so we're going to pull out a tarot let's see what the tarot wants to tell you so for the collective you chose power one is new love coming to you what message does the tarot have for the collective who chose power one? Ooh, king of swords yes my finger is also pulling on something i f- look at this i feel like this is an energy of saying get yeah come out of this come out of this kind of like energy of thinking that you can't you don't think you you're you you you're i'm getting the energy of you're not good enough or a self it's like i feel like there's a self-worth energy and i feel like the king of swords being here it's like this energy of wanting you to tap into believing that you deserve better you know that good things can come your way and i feel like it's a it's a strong energy of being clear with what it is that you want you want in your life and to manifest and it will come okay we're gonna have a look and see what significant messages are at the front look at this again the seven of cups so i feel like that seven of cups is like get really get clear what is it that you want okay because if you don't get clear this is where again this moon energy with the seven of cups okay it's like distractions um not following through the things you know not not taking on this energy of like okay let me let me just enjoy life let me just enjoy doing me let me just take some time to you know enjoy being or even romantic to myself you know because again that energy is you know you're 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 giving the energy but that re- that energy will also be reciprocal okay page of wands that's, i feel like that's message i feel like this is a message to say yep you need to get clear with what it is you want so it can come to you okay so it can come to you okay now last but not least we're going to pull out a quick um inner child message because i feel like there is definitely an inner child energy going on here with the the energy of playfulness okay so let's have a look for the collective you chose part one is new love coming to you what message you does the inner child cards want us to know i feel like this is wants to come out birth birth the energy of birth so it is the sacred act of birth which gives us our physical body allowing us the privilege of incarnating as spirit in matter This divine process and life given us by our mother and father needs to be blessed and transformed from the painful or mundane to the highest level of consciousness. In meditation, visualize and feel yourself moving out from the womb into a sacred, loving and safe environment where you hear beautiful music playing as you are held in your mother's protective arms and feel the joy of being here on this sacred earth the affirmation i am spirit in matter easily and lovingly birthed onto this sacred planet and i feel like this is the energy that you you need just to to embrace to really embrace this energy of you do you deserve in love you are worthy of love and i feel like that's like you know use those affirmations to really carry that energy and and know that you be, you be, um you deserve it okay but yes love is coming again get clear with what you want 
so it can come into your life okay write it down okay visualize it speak it into existence okay all right so i hope you know the messages are resonating take what resonates and leave the rest i saw it go this simply means that's how it goes around here okay but be sure to look good feel good okay and wagwan wagwan people wagwan tea sippers wagwan with generals so we have pile two we're gonna have a look is love coming to you now i hope you have a nice cup of tea or a beverage of your choice you know to gather some hydration as we gather these intuitive gems and if you haven't already please like and subscribe to wagwan taran tea come and join the love and light family and do you have a look on the live tab section of the channel for some more exclusive summer of love pick a card readings all right let's see wow one okay new love is coming to you a new person has steered your romantic feelings so there is somebody new here that wants to come okay and i feel like this is also like a you know if you're seeing this it could be an opportunity to explore this new love interest okay take the time again you know dating is for data and when i say dating is for data it's like taking that opportunity to you know it's like for instance if you're going to buy a product you know you may want to check that product out you might want to you know see what's going on what's the what's the features what's the benefits what's the offers and this is kind of essentially the same you know with this someone who's new wanting to see what they're all about okay where they you know where they stand you know what are their intentions get to know them okay and i feel like if, there, if there's an opportunity where you know that has a rise or there might be an offer to get to know whether it could be going on a date going on you know just getting to know you maybe you know take that opportunity again always trust your intuition and use your discernment every time okay but there is new love here if you want it okay so we are going to pull out a jamaican proverb let's see what jamaican proverb wants to come out for you Ooh, two two wants to come out and we're on two there's something about that too you know <laughs> Right, so it says we've got a Nancy rope tie a Nancy, a Nancy rope tie a Nancy. Now, a Nancy is a tail of a, a spider. So it's like a little spider who's always up to mischief called a Nancy. Now, it's originally like a West African storytelling and it's very popular also in the Caribbean as part of that kind of and and ancestral and they had ancestral ancestral history okay but i feel like this this coming here it's saying caught in a lie lie after lie can cause traps so be honest okay now i feel like this could the nancy rope tie nancy proverb is also here because i feel like it's kind of if this opportunity comes you know don't 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 brush it aside i feel like it's kind of like somebody who's someone's going to come and, sh and show some interest but i feel like it's you you've got to be open to it okay but i feel like also it could also be telling telling us that they, this person might come in a way that they may you know they have they're interested or it could be vice versa it could be a two, two of you in this situation where you're not really showing those feelings for one another okay right and it says look look at this one the cow says sit down but don't mean rest the cow says sit down but don't mean rest sit down means sit down sit down sit down the cow say sit down but not to rest so it's like to say okay if you know if there's any of you right now who are single okay if you just come out of something that's cool like i feel like this is what this is the way this this is what he wants us to know that's cool that's fine but don't just sit down don't just sit down 
you know it's not this is not it's this sitting period or sitting or waiting period it's not for you to just completely just like right that's it that's me done yeah I'm not really interested it, I feel like it's kind of saying you know let allow this allow this to unfold take time again use that you know dating is for data taking time to get to know one another where you stand you know go with your intentions okay so don't be lazy don't be idle don't self-sabotage okay so i feel like the key thing is not to self-sabotage okay allow this to unfold okay to see where it could lead okay okay so we are going to pull out a tarot let's see what the tarot wants to tell you so for the collective who chose pile two is new love coming to you we can see that it is okay what do you what else what other messages Ooh, child. now this message we've got this the knight of pentacles and i feel like this is what is going on with the um the cow says sidong don't mean rest this is coming to you don't just get um to this point where you're like oh yeah well i don't know if i'm feeling like use this opportunity again the nancy tie um the, uh, nancy's rope nancy's own rope tied it tied itself up don't get caught up in this energy okay and i feel like this is what the knight of pentacles is telling us the knight of pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck so it's kind of like dragging its feet but look at the opportunity and i feel like the opportunity of taking the time to get to know this person it could lead to it could lead to you know meeting someone i feel like this person this person could also be somebody who is very successful in their own right okay and i feel like they their in their intention is genuine so you know again dating for data taking time to you know see if there's something that you both you know you both have the same maybe like intentions and in, in what you you would like okay oh la la now i feel drawn to pull another let's see what else wants to come out okay this person could also maybe be, be a bit older or they could be the same age okay okay now we've got the eight of cups and i feel like the eight of cups is saying you've got to leave something i feel like there's there is an energy here of having to let go of something again a nancy's on rope ties a nancy okay um the cow says sidong don't mean rest so don't get comfortable in maybe i feel like it's like letting go of old energies you have to leave that so this so this can flow in okay okay let's just have a look and see what's significant at the front we got the tower yes and we got the king of swords i feel like it's look ace of wands you know look at this look what it could lead to with the ten of pentacles but I've, you've got to let go of these these burdens look look at that look at the queen of pentacles and the queen of the king of pentacles the ten of pentacles so there's definitely an energy of family but i feel like with the ten the, the tower being here it's saying you need to sh you got to shake it off you got to shake off you got to shake off the past you got to shake off the past you got to let go of the past because th this can be this can then create an energy an energy block because also that energy block or shaking off that energy block could then bring you closer to what it is that you truly want so i feel like it's saying get clear of your intentions you know really get clear with what it is that you want so it can come to you you can manifest it you can bring it into your existence okay now you know i can see like all of this could lead to you know possible a possible um power couple you know both, both wanting to build like a family generational wealth look but you gotta you gotta let go of this energy here okay there is some kind of stagnant look at this some kind of stag stagnant energy the hermit and it's like 
you know maybe perhaps it's like oh it's been a while you know i don't know what to wear i don't know you know oh my gosh i'm like so out of the whole dating arena but i feel like you know you have to take yourself out darling because look you got <laughs> look at that you've got to you gotta you gotta expand your horizons okay and i feel like the message is to expand your horizons dating is for data you know don't get it exclusive just yet you know you're just taking the time to relax unwind you know but you've got to let you gotta you gotta be open you gotta keep yourself open okay so last but not least we are going to leave you with a quick message and not i feel drawn to just pull one more from here okay what else is the what else does the collective you chose pal to need to know honey this this it could lead to a honeymoon mm, so you know what comes with a honeymoon you know <laughs> what comes with a honeymoon you can have marriage you can have thing we already saw it with the ten of pentacles so girl <laughs> enjoy the bliss of holiday time together look i can see this is maybe having lots of shared fit you know shared hobbies shared interests you know don't get caught up in this self-sabotaging energy embrace it you know welcome it it is good vibrational energy up in here all right so to the collective who chose pile two i hope the messages are resonating and you know what we like to do around here take what resonates and leave the rest i saw it go this simply means that's how it goes around here so be sure to look good feel good stay blessed and i'll see you on the next one wow one Wagwan people, Wagwan tea sippers, Wagwan me generals. So we have pile free and we're looking into the question, is new love coming to you? So if you've got a cup of tea or a beverage of your choice, yeah, just to stay hydrated, let us know what you're sipping on, put it in the comments below. And we on the live tab section of the channel, do have a look, we have exclusive content just for you and it's all focused on different dating show themes okay so loosely loosely focused the summer of love readings pick a card readings are loosely focused on the dating shows okay so do have a look okay and let's see wagwan okay Ooh, oy, 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 oy. romantic feelings is new love coming to you there's definitely new love coming here romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring now i feel like this person could already be here already okay now and it can be a plethora of things going on this could be someone uh, a, a recent ex it could be someone who wants to reconcile it can also be a new energy somebody who is feeling you you're feeling them you know are you feeling me yeah i'm feeling you baby i'm feeling you <laughs> i'm getting the message i've been feeling you every time ever since i've met you and ever since i started talking to you now this also makes me feel like it's a friend as well or someone who like a friend and then it's like now they're they're wanting to see whether they can ha you know see if the, if it's a mutual thing going on okay those are the kind of the energies that i'm getting here so let's have a look and let's see what i want we're going to start with the jamaican proverb first see what additional message it wants to give us okay oh something wants to come out okay so we have the cow no no the you same teal until it cut off uh oh this sounds like this could be an x as well the cow no no okay the cow no no okay the cow no no or you can say the cow don't know the use i am teal okay until it cut off until it cut off so this just means the cow does not know the use of its tail until it's gone okay now this can this can tell us that there could be someone who took you for granted someone who took you for granted this could be an ex this you know could be a friend or a, you know 
someone who valued you in like seeing you as a friend and a, and a, and a love interest at the same time okay and i feel like there could have been some kind of energy of separation or something like that and in that time has made them realize oh my gosh you were somebody that i could value somebody that you you know wow i you know it's the saying as like you you know they're missing you now that they're gone or since you've been gone okay there could be that energy but then i feel like there's a, this energy of new that you know what you know as they say what is somebody's loss is somebody else's treasure okay so i feel that this is what is going on in your scenario so look don't take things for granted appreciate what you have hopopono hopopono is a hawaiian prayer which i love to do okay um and it's just a simply i love you i'm sorry please forgive me and thank you and it's something that you can say as a prayer okay and it's originally was used as a hawaiian prayer to for anybody who need, like needed healing who was unwell illness and things like that but in general it can be used as a prayer to bring in good okay prayer to show appreciation to show gratitude and i feel like this is there's a situation here that someone did was taken for granted and now now that maybe that that um time being apart has made someone realize oh my gosh what i've missed but i feel like it's also bringing this energy that someone is welcoming this treasure okay we're gonna pull one we're gonna pull actually we'll, let's pull the tarot first we'll pull the tarot first let's see what the tarot wants to tell the collective you chose power three is new love coming to you oh we yes it is yes it is the page of cups so i feel like this is again this is the the energy of somebody really wanting to come and you know they got the little fish there you know so you gotta be careful now you know <laughs> you know fish can represent the energy of fertility okay <laughs> let's see what's at the front into into it the 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 you know the queen of the intuition the high priestess this is someone that you know intuitively okay if you're watching this now you know who this could be okay and there's an, the knight of cups so i feel like with the page of cups and the knight of cups there's two people here okay i feel like there's two people here i feel like you know the page of cups could be someone from the past it could also be someone new as well as the knight of cups okay but i feel like the knight of cups because if we if we think of like when it comes to the 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 page the page lets the cups interest in the court cards the page of cups it represents this the smallest of them all okay because we have the page of cups the knight of cups then the king of cups okay the king of cups the king is the king of all king when it comes to the emotions now the page of cups is somebody who's going to step forward but they're not going to give too much away okay whereas the knight of cups is going to be a bit more brave a bit more confident coming forward and and really wanting to express this okay now this can also kind of come the the, the ex can kind of if it's someone from the past the ex can also try to bring this energy because they feel that they will be a bit more confident because they have a bit more knowledge of you a bit more understanding of you okay and try to use that to sway your interest okay whereas perhaps someone who's new may not have that full confidence will won't have that much confidence because they're still getting to know you you're still getting to know them okay so i feel like it could be a choice of making a decision of where the heart lies and again trust your intuition trust your um use your discernment you know everybody has free will but i feel like with the high priestess being there let's see what's behind that high priestess the high pri i feel like the high priestess is really wanting you to choose a decision that best fits this the nine of pentacles energy going on because look at the seven pentacles you've had there has been some previous time where you've looked back and think what well, is this right for me is this working for me okay look at that the page of swords looking back you know looking back at things the five of the five of cups there was a time where you know there was some misery some loss okay justice balance is here you know look i feel like it's that energy of do you really want to go back to this? Do you really want to go back to this? You've been working so hard. You don't want to get back into this energy. Okay. 
top of that, Two of Swords having to make a decision between the two. So I feel like there's an energy of don't get caught up. Get clear with your intuition. Know what it is that you want so you can work on exactly, you know, what it is that you truly want. What is really aligned with where you are right now. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. There's a good one. You know, work with where you are aligned right now. Okay. But I feel like see, this is kind of this message here is kind of saying there was some energy here before that you didn't particularly like. Do you really want to go back to that? Do you really want to be that guy? Do you really want to be that guy? Yeah. Do you really want to go back to that? Whereas, let's say, you know, let's have a look. Messages from the tarot regarding who is the, pa the page of cups. Who is the page of cups? Who is the page of cups? So it is the three of wands. It's somebody who wants to expand. It's someone who wants to grow with you. It's someone who wants to, you know, have a chance. It's the page, look, the message page of wands. They might be sending you messages now. You might be receiving messages. It might be some contact or in the near future. It's somebody that could also wants to, I feel like wants to, you know, get to know you, take that time to build things, okay? Now, there is an energy of the lovers as well. So it, I feel like it could be a past energy as well for some of you. It could be a past energy, okay? Um, there may have been some energy, like... Um, so again, I feel like the Seven of Cups here is some decisions you need to make. And if, whether you want this, you know, look, whether you want this, there is love here. You might have been thinking about it for a while, okay? Let's have a look on who is the Knight of Cups. So let's have a look and see who is the Knight of Cups. Who is the Knight of Cups? Ooh. So the Knight of Cups is the Knight of Swords. I feel like the Knight of Swords, something wants to come out. Look, someone is trying to offer this at the same time, a four of wands. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, you might be having more than one love interest here. So is new is new love coming? Yes. But I feel like there is going to have to be a decision on who you who you choose again use this opportunity as dating for data taking time to get to know somebody okay taking some time look don't take things for granted okay and i feel like don't make anybody take you for granted either you know you know really put out there your intention what is it you want okay because it can come to you and i'm drawn to pull something deaf okay I feel like it's an energy of someone wanting to start the new with you. So again, everybody has free will. Use your intuition, trust your intuition, and use your discernment every time. All right. So to the collective who chose power free, I hope the messages are resonating. And you know what we do around here, what we like to do around here, and wherever you go to go watch tarot or anything like that, Take what resonate and leave the rest. We have to say it with power. Leave the rest. Okay. I saw it go. I saw it go. I saw it go. This is Jamaican Patwa. And it simply means this or that. This is how it goes around here. This is how it goes around here. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. But be sure to look good. Feel good. Stay hydrated. Stay blessed. Big up yourself every time. And I'll see you on the next one. Wah, Guan.